are following a mass shooting that happened in Western Maryland earlier this afternoon in the small community of Smithsburg. Three people have died. There are more people who are in the hospital, including a Maryland state trooper who responded to the scene to try and chase that suspect down. They did, but that suspect and that state trooper are now in the hospital fighting for their lives. WBM's Lex Juarez is live. We're going to get to her in just a second. We want to get you up to speed if you're just tuning in right now. A couple of hours ago, the Washington County Sheriff's Office, all the way up in western Maryland, got a phone call about some sort of active shooting situation at a warehouse that's on the upper right-hand corner of your screen. You see the two lines there. The red line that continues to go up and to the right there, that is Bickle Street, Bickle Road, rather. Right off of Bickle Road is a manufacturing facility that is operated by a company called Columbia Machine Incorporated. It is inside of that Columbia Machine building where, and you're going to see some better video of it right now, there you go, inside of that building where earlier today three people were gunned down by a suspect, three more were sent to the hospital, and now a state trooper is also fighting for their lives in a hospital. For those of you who aren't from the Western Maryland area, Smithsburg is pretty close to Hagerstown. It's about 20 minutes down the road, uh, and it's sandwiched in between uh, Hagerstown and Frederick. It's a very small rural community. As you see there, there's really not a lot other than farmland there, a couple of houses, and that manufacturing facility, and unfortunately, a lot and a lot of police officers. Speaking of police officers and those who are working to talk with them for us and answer more questions, we're going to go out to WVM's Lex Juarez, who's been out on the scene since this story first broke. Lex, you've interviewed several uh, elected officials on air live over the past couple of hours here. Now it's just you and me. What do you know? What's the latest? Yeah, Joseph, well, right now we still don't know much. We are still waiting to hear back from the Washington County Sheriff's Office. We haven't heard from them since the press conference that they held around 545 this at, this evening. They did tell us, of course, about the shooting that happened at Columbia Machine. That was around 230 this afternoon. Now, Columbia Machine, like you mentioned, is a warehouse. That's where they make concrete products, according to their website. Right now, the police are trying to figure out exactly how the suspect um, connects to where the shooting happened, but that suspect did flee the scene after shooting four people there. Three of those died at the scene, and one of them was in critical condition. The suspect w fled about six miles away. That was where he they encountered a trooper. There was a shootout between the trooper and the suspect, and both of them are now in the hospital with shooting injuries. Now, we are still waiting to hear back more about their injuries. That's where we have been directed to the Maryland State Police. have not heard anything back from them yet. We're also looking into more questions about what's going on um, over at the hospital here in Hagerstown. And of course, looking into exactly how this is going to impact the Smithsburg community. Like you mentioned, it is a small, tight-knit community. And the Washington County Sheriff's Office tells me the last time that something like this happened, there was an officer shot and killed back in December of 20 or 2007. And of course, that was um, the last time they had anything like this happen. So they, the, the community is going to be feeling big emotional impacts from this. Of course, we're going to be on the scene waiting to hear some updates from the sheriff's office, and we'll be bringing those to you both live and online on localdvm.com. For now, live in Smithsburg, back to you. Hey, Lex, before we let you go, because I know that you're on the scene there and you're actually communicating directly with law enforcement there. You have, you have two agencies, right? You have the Maryland State Police. Uh, which was involved in the shootout with the suspect, and then you have the Washington County Sheriff's Office, which was the first law enforcement agency uh, to get on the scene there to respond to those phone calls. Uh, the last time we heard from Washington County Sheriff's Office was over roughly about an hour ago, uh, give or take. Uh, are we planning on hearing from them at all later on today, tonight, tomorrow? Uh, I know that the Maryland State Police has to speak about their own trooper who was injured in that shooting. Any word from either of them? The public information officer about that, she said she was going to give investigators a call here in the last 10 minutes or so and would hopefully have an update for us. And of course, like I said, when I get those updates, I'll be bringing them to you guys both here and online.